nth child is a pseudo class used to select elements by a numeric expression. The syntax is quite different to most other aspects of CSS and can be a bit tricky to get your head around to begin with. In this episode, we'll look at the various ways of using nth child, the slightly more flexible nth of type selector, and their counterpart selectors nth last child and nth last of type. nth child selects child elements if their position in the document matches a pattern described by an algebraic expression. The nth child selector looks a bit like this. The expression can either be the keywords even or odd, a whole number, or a formula in the pattern of a n plus b, where a and b are whole numbers, positive or negative. As nth child can be used to select a range of different elements under different circumstances, it's difficult to explain how it works and what it's used for. Let's look at a series of examples to illustrate its uses. I have an unordered list here with 12 list items. Let's see how we can use nth child to match a specific item or pattern of items. To select the third list item, I can use li nth child 3. To select all the even items, I can use the even keyword. Conversely, I can use nth child odd to select all the odd numbered items. These are commonly used selectors to stripe the background color of alternate rows in a table of data. To select every third item, I can use li nth child 3n. To select the first four items, I can use li nth child minus n plus 4. To select everything except the first four items, I can use li nth child n plus 5. We've seen how nth child odd can select all the odd numbered items in a list. An alternative approach to using the odd keyword is to use the expression 2n plus 1. But how does the expression work? When the expression in the format a n plus b contains non-zero values for a and b, the child elements are split into groups of a elements. If the expression was 2n plus 1, the child elements would be split into groups of 2. Each element in the group is then given an index starting at 1. The matched element in the group is the beth index. In this example, that would be the first element. If the expression was 3n plus 2, the list items would be grouped into sets of 3, and the second item in each group would be matched. The even keyword can be expressed as 2n. In this case, there is no value for b in the an plus b expression, so each eighth element is matched instead. 2n would match every second element, 3n every third, 4n every fourth, and so on. I personally find the idea of splitting all the elements into groups and working out the matched index for each group very confusing, although that's how the CSS selector spec describes it. I can cope with the idea of matching every nth element, every second or third or fourth, etc., and then I like to think of the second part of the expression as an offset. In the case of 2n plus 1, I would read it as follows. Find every second element, and then move the selection down by 1. If the expression was 3n minus 5, I would read, find every third element, and then move the selection up by 5. nth child has a corresponding nth last child pseudoclass, which works in the same way as nth child, but in reverse nth last child 3n starts at the last child element and works backwards matching every third element from the bottom of the list. This is far less common and something I don't think I've ever used in a production site before. It is however very common to select either the first or the last child element. This could be done with nth child 1 or nth last child 1, but it's so common there are first child and last child pseudoclasses available as well. 
First Child is the only one of this whole family of selectors that works in IE8. Last Child and any of the other nth selectors do not. Something that often catches me out with nth child is that the selector just matches based on index of child elements and doesn't take the type of element into account. Let's look at the following markup for a snippet of content. I have a section with a heading and a subheading and a series of paragraphs beneath it. I want to make the first paragraph stand out a bit by increasing the font size to 1.5m. I might try section P first child, as I want to style the first paragraph in the section. But this doesn't work as the first child of the section is actually an H1 element. In this case, I need to use the first of type selector. There's a series of these type selectors, first of type, last of type, nth of type, and nth last of type. These behave the same way as nth child, but match the nth instant of a certain type of element. These selectors are very powerful, but a little bit complex. The browser support is IE9+, with the exception of first child, which is IE8+. Bear this in mind when using them, but they've certainly gotten me out of a few difficult situations in the past.